What is going on is we're back again with another video in today's video we currently have 27 days left in season one so i think these are the things we should be focused on to kind of finish this grind up so if you take a look at the calendar right here we do have a pretty big update on the 17th with at least the roster upgrades and stuff we have the awards lightning player then the next week we have another new program but there's not a whole lot of crazy content that's going to be coming to the game this last update was pretty crazy with this jake area the honus wagner you know obviously the br rewards are insane like the, obviously team affinity 3 is insane but with 27 days left and knowing you are not only going to have four wild cards to work with in your guys team right here so yeah this is something you want to pay attention to because most of this stuff is really not going to matter so if there's any card in these team affinities or anything that you kind of like that you wanted to get it's going to go ahead and grab them now before that new season starts because we're obviously getting a new set of team affinities coming on out for you know season two chapter one and all that stuff so you want to go ahead and get these done if you can if you want to look at my great progress over one day i've gotten three percent so yeah i haven't really grinded them too much but i think for me because there's no time limit on these chapter three ones so i'm not really like focusing on it too much i'm really trying to get these chapter one and chapter two ones done right now just because they have the time limit on them and then once that's done you can't really earn the cards again because i'm thinking about it like this if i can get these chapter one cards done i get these chapter two cards done right and i can get the chapter threes kind of whenever i want and i can go ahead and go into the collections over here and then try to finish these collections off i think i'm at like 121 cards right now which i could collect and get the rich atora card so i'm gonna go ahead and do that right there i'm gonna get him on the board but yeah there's still a ton of these cards to get so that's kind of why i want to do this my way because you know if i can get to at least you know the 280 or the 250 mark at the end of the season i'll be pretty happy with that to try to get one of these cards so i think i'm gonna get this george brett you know or this willie may like they're just really good cards i don't think i'm gonna get satchel page but i want to get one of these two cards because they just look absolutely phenomenal I think that's my goal when it comes down to grinding and obviously you know we're doing these awards cards we're obviously gonna get that new drop when that comes out in the drop eight which will be pretty exciting because that bobby wood junior card is still absolutely insane in my opinion that's like the main things i've been doing i've been pretty much getting all these programs done right here the ones i don't have done is i didn't get the last egg in the events thing which is fine and then drop seven i got like seven more points i just need to do a couple of these general missions and i'll pretty much be done with this one but yeah at least for me i've been focused on the things that are kind of time limited to the season one the team infinity threes i'm gonna complete over time that's not too big of a problem with me now so i want to head over to the ranked program and try to get you know all these guys and try to get this you know crazy jake arietta card he looks absolutely insane so definitely want to get him on the board so definitely gonna be playing a lot of ranked as well and obviously with the innings it's a lot easier with the you know solo co-op ranked innings the fact that you can do all these missions in co-op and you know and solo ranked is honestly really cool there's gonna be a lot of stuff to grind for a lot of stuff to play over the next couple of days which will be very exciting and overall i think the goal is try to just get as many cards as you can throughout the next 27 days in season one to try to get all these you know great all these great rewards that's what i'm gonna be focusing on for the next 27 days so i can have my four wall cards set up really solid going into that season two because you know we're gonna pretty much start fresh you know what i'm saying i don't know what the overall is gonna be on season two cards i imagine they're not gonna be high though i imagine they'll be right back at 91 or something like that if i had to take a guess so that's why these four wild cards are insanely important going into the next season because you can obviously still use the core cards but your season one cards you can only use four of them so that's gonna be pretty important going into the next phase yeah, that's what i recommend you guys focus on throughout you know the next couple of days because that's gonna be the main important part setting yourself up for the season two and all that good stuff so but obviously you can play the game your way that's just what i'm going to be doing over the next couple of weeks but if you guys do enjoy this video on what you guys should be focusing on for season one make sure you like comment, subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one peace out everyone